So now um, I want to show you. Um, I ended up changing this so it matches the the example. Um, instead of latest, I'm going to call it last recipe. Uh, Think that's fine. So uh, what we need to do next is uh, we need to create what it's called a resolver map. So basically, uh, you can say resolver map dot js using flow audio sports. And what the resolver map is is just uh, an object that has a key of each one of the um, top level fields and then uh, the value is a function that takes an object or a source, sometimes it's called, um, it, uh, it has the arguments, the context and the uh, info, those are the, those are the um, the input variable. So in here, uh, you would take the from the arguments. Uh, you would probably take the author name like that, or maybe even uh, if you're gonna you want to get fancy like this, you get the the author name. So uh, right now, if you want to resolve that, you could just go and make a a request taking the author name to um, your uh, recipe, uh, yeah, your, to your recipes. Oh, in this case, we don't have a third name, so uh, that's a bad example. So uh, let me change this by the recipes by author. So it's gonna be uh, recipes, and then I'm gonna filter this by Mm, author, I think it's called author, but uh, it's nice to always check it. Uh, go to Contenta. Now it's good that we have nice documentation. Recipe and my relationship. It's called author. Yeah. So uh, the author dot name. Uh, is equal to uh, to whatever the the user passed, and then I'm gonna say sort by, and we have an attribute that is updated at. Uh, oops, sorry, that is like that, and um, I want to go reverse, and then page. Oops. Limit equals one, so we only get one. So, so with this URL, uh, we would get so we we would get only one recipe. So we would need to uh, somehow uh, make uh, a request, maybe using fetch, and then catch the promise, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and then return the the recipe. Um, what Content of GraphQL offers you? is a way to do this by default way simpler. So if, if you wanted to just resolve your recipes by author using a JSON API call, what you can do if you're using uh, this project, Content uh, JS GraphQL, you can just add in here what is called a directive and uh, say from JSON API, make this query. And uh, then I'm gonna paste this, and I'm gonna use that. So uh, we we will have a templated URL uh, here. You can see that it's called author name. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna uh, check for the um, the variables that you have over here, or the arguments that you have over here, and it's gonna replace them into into here. And it's gonna make this request. It's gonna take the response, it's gonna see that uh, it's already a list of recipes. Um, oh, actually, uh, we don't want to have only one, so maybe uh, just just like that. Uh, so basically what you are doing is, are you saying my GraphQL query 
it's gonna relay information from the uh, JSON API server and uh, we're gonna just uh, expose GraphQL from JSON API just like that effortless without having to write resolvers to wrangle information and uh, have you know the massage happening in in each of the queries so uh, I'm gonna delete this query file and I'm gonna copy it from the example branch that I have going on you can see that in here uh, we have oh I missed the, the quotes so it's nice that uh, we did that so uh, basically I'm gonna make this these queries and uh, and that's gonna be it uh, so this is all the GraphQL specific stuff so uh, what we need to do is to have GraphQL uh, booted up and exposed in in our content.js applications and we can do that next in the video then in the next video